Hello, hello, boys and girls. This is Undertale, of course, and welcome to another Battlefield 3 video. We got some P90 gameplay because you guys voted it up. No, my guys, depression spread is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Bullets just went every fucking where. But the good thing is that if you switch to your sidearm, it's gonna be a okay because sidearms are not affected by suppression in Battlefield, and that's kind of nice. That's why you might see me switch to my sidearm quite a lot when I'm suppressed, and that's a great tip I can give you guys. But this video is actually not about that, and we're gonna talk actually about how to make it on YouTube. Just before someone asks, I'm using uh, the Cobra sight, the laser sight, and the flash suppressor on the P90, and I'm having the saw. And the pistol is, of course, that 93R. I like the 93R. It's quite good. It's a little bit more accurate than Glock 18, uh, and uh, it's a little bit better at, at longer range, but still pretty effective in close range encounters. So, uh, there's no secret, to be honest. There's no magical way to get famous or, or succeed on YouTube or, or how to make good YouTube videos. It's something you, you learn uh, over time or, or, or simply simply it just happens be because you love making videos and, and people love watching your videos. Uh, but there's two things you need to make it on YouTube. You need to make good videos, that's about 50% of it, and the rest of the, the other 50%, the other half, is actually pure fucking luck. Uh, because without luck, even if you make the most excellent fucking Battlefield montage, even if you make the funniest video on Minecraft, or you make the funniest sketch in real life, or vlog, or, or you show them a super cool car, it won't get any views unless you get lucky and get some search results. Basically, when people share a video on Facebook or like it or favorite it or, or tell their co-workers or, or school friends or friends overall, like, hey dude, like, did you see this cool video? No, I didn't. Oh, let me show you. It's on YouTube. That's how you, that's the luck part simply, because you can't manufacture that kind of thing. Even if you make the best video ever, you gotta have a little bit of luck and hope that the right people see it, so, so you actually get those search results. And search results are the most important thing ever when you start up YouTube. That's why you should never ever do Let's Plays. If you wanna start up a channel on YouTube and make Minecraft videos, don't do Let's Plays. Never do Let's Plays. If you wanna start up a channel and make Battlefield, don't make commentary like I'm doing right now because there's so many people doing it already You got to do something special Otherwise, you're never gonna get noticed even if you have the best commentary ever because you know what people don't search for Minecraft Let's Plays and people do not search for Battlefield 3 commentary people are gonna search for how do you find diamonds in Minecraft? How do you fly a helicopter in Battlefield? They're gonna look for how-to videos. That's what I call them or tutorials simply when you show other people how to do different things. A really good example is my very first video. Uh, I did the video because I was playing on a server uh, at that time on Minecraft. This was in Alpha, I believe, already, uh, or in very early beta, and the Minecraft multiplayer was completely different to single player. Single player had a lot more features, kind of how uh, Minecraft Mobile is right now. Minecraft Mobile is kind of like Minecraft Beta right now. Uh, it's not at all like multiplayer or si real single player on PC. It's, it has a lot less features and things don't work the same way. And in m Minecraft multiplayer you, you couldn't like find diamonds in exactly the same way or, or like do the same things with minecarts and, and redstone like you could in single player because it would either lag the server or it hadn't been added yet. So I made a couple of videos to show Show off the guys on my server how to do things uh, in Minecraft single player because I couldn't show them on the server because the things didn't work on the server. And the first thing I did was actually a how to find diamonds video and then I made one showing how you could make minecarts go uh, super fast and have speed forever so you basically before booster rails existed uh, and uh, the minecart would go like really fast and it would never ever ever stop you. It would go forever basically and you did it by like making bugging out together with a ton of other carts and then removing the other carts and, and then like putting down a rail and then jumping into it and yeah it was kind of weird stuff but it, those things got a lot of search results and uh, people liked the videos and they wanted to see more videos so I'm always like oh okay I'm sure a couple of guys have subscribed I'm gonna make another video then I well, might as well because like 
yeah, it's fun to make videos. And I also made the videos in the beginning because I wanted to show my friends only. I had no plans on getting so successful or rich or anything like that. I, I hardly even knew you could kind of do that. I, I didn't know you could make money on YouTube then uh, because I think it just started to like happen that people could make money on YouTube. Uh, at least not in Sweden, you couldn't. Uh, I think it was like two years since... Two years ago you started being able to do it in Sweden. And I did it because I wanted to learn how to make videos. So never ever make videos on YouTube to get famous or, or to get rich. Because you're gonna fail. You're so gonna fail, trust me, because it, it's you gotta have you gotta have you gotta do it because it's fun, because you like it. Otherwise people are gonna like see that you, you're you're just doing it because you wanna get famous and people won't subscribe to you because you, you look needy, simply. <laughs> I don't know a better way to explain it. Uh, and also a great example on... Uh, for, uh, when we're talking... Since I'm talking about Minecraft, since that's kind of where I started out. Uh, I started putting out the Bad Company 2 videos a lot later than I started Minecraft. Simply because uh, I, I couldn't put out anything else than Minecraft. Because you have to be partnered with a... With a with a network to be able to put out videos like Battlefield and such and such uh, without getting copyright strikes. And a uh, great example of a guy that uh, did everything right in Battlefield is actually Level Cap. You guys probably know Level Cap. Level Cap is one of the best well known guys when it comes to at least Battlefield and like Planet Side and tutorials on how to do different things. And uh, he is, he makes really good tutorials, but even he has gotten a little bit of luck. He made a lot of good tutorials and he got lucky on a couple of them and got good search results and he got good search results not only because of luck because but, but also because he made really good videos so it's like those things kind of go hand in hand and that's why I kind of tell you guys that never do YouTube just because you want to get famous or rich because the chance that you're gonna make good videos then and also get lucky is very small so you gotta make them because it's fun so you can keep making them even if you don't so to say, make it on YouTube. <laughs> it's like, myself, I've been doing YouTube videos for almost three years. I didn't make a single, I didn't make a single buck. And I, I hardly had, I think I had, when I made my first dollar, I had 10,000 subscribers, I'd made 300 videos, spent about 2,000 hours making those videos, and over a year on YouTube. And I would consider myself lucky. Many people make better videos, and it takes them longer time to to get 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. And then to get more than 10,000 subscribers, it, even that is hard. Like it's not like just because you get the ball rolling, it's gonna keep on rolling, no matter what. You still gotta make good videos and like make people happy and, and like find your find your thing, like what you do best. So don't go out and like make uh, a how tutorial video on the battlefield, like like one of those that Level Cap has done or one of those that I've done, like how to neglect recoil and stuff like that or don't go and make a Minecraft video on how to find diamonds like I have done or many others have done already. You kind of have to as I said, like you gotta be a little bit lucky and you gotta make a video about something you know I have a lot about, you like maybe maybe even another game or maybe something no one else has shown anybody else. So you actually have a chance of getting good search results and you gotta continuously produce good quality videos and uh, j just basically make make people happy if they find your video. They they gotta they gotta say like, oh wow, this this video was good. I I wanna share this with my friends and, and that's that's how you're gonna get a lot of views on your videos and that's how you're gonna get subscribers and, and get uh, su successful on YouTube basically. But it, as I said, there's there's no magical way of getting successful or anything like that. It it has to do with a lot of hard work, luck of course and also skill in making videos. So I hope this is gonna help you guys a little bit. I know it's it's fairly fussy, but again, like it's 50% luck, 50% hard work, simply. <laughs> so you can't really make it without one or the other. As usual, thank you guys for watching.